subscribe remember to share remember to comment now for today's tutorial I want to show you how to fix unable to send messages with your Android phone but before I enter to my tutorial let me congratulate and give thanks to the following they have engaged themselves on my previous video as you can see I have many just want to give a shout out to the following to even my new members big up to the new subscribers welcome home continue to subscribe continue to comment on my tutorials onward I'll be giving a shout out to my new subscribers and to those who are engaging on my tutorials through comments so please subscribe comment now today's tutorial maybe you've met yourself in a situation where you want to send an sms but you are unable after sending this an sms the, the reply you get that it is unable to send this comes if your messaging app has got some issues and that's why i want to show you how to fix the issues that may be on your messaging app and the first thing that you need the first troubleshooting method that you need to carry for you to solve this problem first the first troubleshooting method you have to try and restart your phone that is the first method to restart your phone after restarting your phone you can try and send the sms if the problem continues to try this other method method 2 just go to your phone settings to clear the cut of the messaging app you go to just tap on your phone settings you open settings you scroll down to apps you open apps then tap to open your messaging app scroll to get the messaging app this one you tap to open then tap again on storage tap on storage then clear the card tap on clear cac remember clearing the cac will not delete your messages this is one method to troubleshoot your issue here yeah, your messaging app is not at all it is unable to send the messages after clearing the cac you can go and try leave but the app is able to send the sms if this one will not work you proceed to the then troubleshooting method and here now the then troubleshooting method it is now you will be required or you try changing the message center of your career on this part it will depend with this carrier messages that you're using the 
company that you're using the same kind that you're using on this part you can just go to a browser for example I'm using Safaricom so just go to your browser like this you open then search the message center number for your company that you are using for example I'm using Safaricom so I need to search the message center number for Safaricom it is this one as you can see it is this one this is my message center for my career so I have to copy copy the number then with the number copied you go to your app the message app you tap to open you click to open you open the message then on three dots it is where now you get the settings of your app these three dots you tap to open them then you click on settings again you tap to open settings then again you go to more settings as you can see you tap to open more settings after clicking on more settings you again tap on text messages tap to open text messages that is where now you get the message center number if you want to change it since you are trying to troubleshoot the problem if the number that you've seen is different from what is on your phone you just tap to change the number just delete what was there then paste the number that you've copied then set the number you see that the number my message center number it the one which was there it is the same which I've copied so there is no difference but on your case when you meet that this message center number which is already on your messaging app it is different from the one that you have found on the your browser you just delete what on your app then copy then you click set and that will be all about changing the message center of our app now after changing the message center number you go and try to set the sms if this one will not work for you I would advise you to go or call your customer care, the courier customer care, and they'll give you they'll give you the settings. Thank you for listening to my tutorial. If you have joined my tutorial and you would like to be the first to watch my tutorials whenever I post please go to your YouTube subscribe and turn on the bell for notification when you turn on the bell for notification anytime I post a video you'll be notified and you'll be the first person to watch my videos 
thank you for today. We will meet again with another tutorial. Bye.